Hello everyone and welcome to Particle Systems. That is right, we're going to explore some particles. Um, let's start by adding a plane. And let's create something that's delete everything. That is actually just like flowing in the wind or whatever, right? That could be fun. So to do that, um, first of all, the particles are located in the, the icon below the modifier. So click on that and hit plus and you'll have a particle system added. Now we're gonna use emitter in this one and because an emitter is actually using an object to emit particles, right? So which means that it's gonna give it a little starting velocity and, uh, and the particles are actually detached from the surface pretty much while hair is gonna be stuck to the surface and the emitter will just have a little animation and some physics to it as well, right? Let me set the end to like 100 for now and let's get started. So by default, um, um, you're gonna use a set number of particles and you wanna set this to the value that you desire yourself, right? It's very self-explanatory, same as the, the frame start and end, set this to um, your scene time pretty much or whenever you want your particle system to start and end. Um, but for this one, we're just going to stick with the default values um, and we're gonna give it a velocity of zero, right? I just want to have this fall out of the surface, okay? And um, the normal velocity, you can crank this up and you can see what it's gonna do. It's gonna expel it into the normal direction of our surfaces, right? If you have multiple surfaces, it's gonna expel it in the other normal directions as well, as you can see. Um, but for this one, I just want this to drop um, drop, right? I want these particles to drop, so I don't want any speed. I just want to have gravity take control, pretty much, um, which is beautiful. Okay, so this is all going quite fast, which is fine, but I want this to be like, um, like slow particles falling out of the sky, dust particles, whatever. Um, we can make it happen. Okay, so for that to happen, I would first, first of all, go to my, um, my field weights and I will turn my gravity down just a little bit like 0.2 right and you can see they're now falling much slower perhaps even lower like 0.1 or 0.05 we'll see right so you can see they're falling nice and slow and um, but the particles disappear because our lifetime is 50 so let's set this lifetime to be 200 and our animation timeline to be well 100 is fine for now um, and you can see we got all other kinds of stuff here as well and we're gonna take a look at that too, okay? Because it's a lot of fun to play around with wind settings and stuff like that. So by default, we got some particles falling down nice and slow now, okay? Um, but I want this to be a little bit more random, have some random um, motions and some, perhaps even some cool offsets or whatever. Um, so to do that, we need to affect our particles with a third party force, pretty much. And we can hit Shift A, and find a force field, right? And these force fields are going to be affecting our particles. And you can choose from whatever you want, okay? And it's very nice to have a look at this, whatever happens. Um, and these, um, these force field names, as you can see, they relate to what we see on the right, the field weight settings, right? So you can control each of these strengths individually in your particle system too. So by default, let's add a little bit of wind. It doesn't matter where your wind is in your scene because wind is everywhere, right? Wind is all over the place. And we can just rotate this and align it to a direction that we like. For example, like that's a little bit of sideways motion. You can see that we now have some sideways particles too, right? Beautiful. Um, so you can both change your wind strength in your wind vortex, I guess, and your wind um, force field. We can change the strength, you can add a little bit of noise, right? Set this to 0.1 and the force field will be a little bit um, noisy, I guess. Maybe even stronger. Let's try 0.2 or 2, sorry. You can see some of these particles are moving faster than others. We can even set this to be 5. That's going to give it even more noise, right? You can see, um, let's set the strength down to like 0.2. There we go. Beautiful. And some of these particles are moving out, some of them are um, moving a bit more in. 0.1 perhaps, there we go. Um, that's a great start, right? A great start, I'm gonna set this to be even less, like 0.03, let's say. There we go. 
And if it's still too strong, we can go to our particle settings, go to that field weight, and just turn our wind down to like 0.4. Right? There we go. Beautiful. So we can add more force fields. We don't have to stick to one. We can just hit Shift A, find a new one, and let's make this one turbulence. Right? And turbulence is going to add randomization to your entire system, pretty much. It's basically a noise um, force field for your particles, right? And um, let's go to the physics tab once again. And we can turn the strength to like three, and it's going to really randomize the falling particles more and more and more, right? Perhaps even five. Um, and then even some of them are moving up, which is just beautiful. Um, so this is looking quite interesting. So let's hit Shift A and just figure out some more of these settings. Now, I know all of you like a little bit of a vortex, right? So let's add a vortex as well. And let's move that a little bit to the side. And let's set the strength as 2.3, I guess. And perhaps we should do a little bit of a maximum distance as well. Um, so that not all the particles are going to be affected by this um, vortex, right? Just, just the ones here on the side, for example. So it's, it's just going to give a little bit of a random wind motion right there. Beautiful. So let's set the strength back to one, really see what happens there. You can see these particles are moving a little bit in a nice, nice direction. And this way you can really change the way your particles move right we can even duplicate this turbulence field set this to be a max distance as well so there is a little bit of turbulence in that um in this vortex too there we go and we can even add some noise in the vortex i believe if we set this to like one we get some nice and noisy movements there and let's set our particle system to be a little bit longer um our timeline sorry to 200 there we go and let's set the vortex to be a little bit less strong. Because right now it's collecting all my particles in a way that is maybe a little bit too crazy. Okay. I'm going to save this real quick. Name this particles. Beautiful. Right. So you can see that we're getting some random effects in the sky. Which gives a very beautiful organic feel to our particle system as well. So if you want this to be, for example, dust particles floating around in the sky. Or settling down in a building. Um, we have to add an emission object, I guess, a particle object. So let's add, by default, when something has to be round or dust, whatever, a round particle, I usually go with an icosphere. So shift A, mesh, icosphere. And I will set the resolution subdivisions to like zero um, or one, sorry. Um, the radius, let's set this a bit lower too. Move it to the side. Name this F2. Name this um, dust particle. Beautiful. And let's add a second particle, right? Select your icosphere. Shift S cursor to select it. So our new object is spawned there. Shift A mesh. And we could just set this to be a plane. Um, there we go. And then in edit mode, scale this down. Move it to the side. There we go. Scale it down and press S and Y. There we go. Beautiful. And add a few edge loops. Control R, like three. And then just move some of these planes a little bit. There we go. Make this a nice strand of like dusty hair, whatever. Um, something like that. Perhaps scale the entire thing down just a little bit. And let's give it a little bit of an extrusion. There we go. Beautiful right mouse and shade that smooth. And that will be fine. Right. So name this dust strands. And there we go. And this dust particle with an underscore, I guess. And make sure to set your origin, right mouse, to geometry. And for the icosphere 2, if you don't have that. There we go. So now select both of them. Press M. New collection. Dust particles. And now we have an actual particle collection that we can use for our, our particle system. So select your particle system. Go to the particle tab. And go to render. And in render, you'll be able to render it as an actual collection. So select your collection to be dust particles. And there you go. We've got some small particles floating in the air. Beautiful. Now, they're quite small. Um, we could just scale this up so we can see everything a little bit better. Right? So you can see everything is rotated. <laughs> Very boring. So now we can actually turn on rotation, expand it, and hit dynamic as well. And that way, our rotation is also going to match the wind a little bit. We can see some particles are moving in the wind. Their rotation in the wind as well. 
excuse me, and we can add a little bit of randomization to just one. Um, so we just have a random rotation whenever the particles are spawned. Right, so we have now got a random start rotation and a rotation that is dynamic going with our force fields, I guess, by our effectors. Um, looking quite good, I guess. So let's add a little bit of scale randomness as well. So like 0.75 and decrease our scale slightly as well. And let's go to our icosphere and shade is smooth, right? There we go, beautiful. So now we have an actual particle system that looks a little bit like dust or it goes a bit fast for dust, but you know what I mean, right? So it's actually looking quite decent. So that is basically how you set up particle systems. So let's see how this looks. I'm just going to shift A, add a new camera. There we go. And make sure that is not actually in the dust particles collection, otherwise it's going to be included. And now let's just hit um, Control Alt Numpad Zero to move our camera to our in actual view location. All right there we go. And now we can just go to rendered view. I'm going to set this to cycles. I'm going to set this to GPU. And I'm just going to add an environment, my world. I'm going to set my color to be a sky texture. Beautiful. And let's go to our render settings to our film tab and enable transparent. There we go. And in our particle system, we can also go to our particles and go to our render tab and disable show emitter so that plane um, is going away. Um, in the render, we can do the same for a viewport display. Just disable our emitter and that plane will go away. So just the particles remain that are falling down. All right. Now, if you think they are st still falling too fast, which is basically what's happening, right? So we can just go ahead and change the gravity to be even lower, like 0.01. And that way they're going to be moving incredibly slowly and affected by the wind a bit more. Okay, so something like that's quite cool. Maybe it's still a little bit fast, but I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, and let's just add a bit more. So I'm going to set this to 10K. Beautiful. And I want my camera to be right in the middle of this particle system. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, let's add more skill randomization, even like one. And let's decrease the skill slight bit as well. There we go. Now I'm just going to add a little new plane. Make sure that's not in the dust particles. And I'm just going to move this off to the farther end of our camera. There we go. Rotate this to align to the camera. Control B, draw a nice box around your camera to limit your render to that area and to make our plane a new material of black and completely rough. There we go. Right, so this just shows our particles beautifully. Let's select our camera. Let's go to depth of field and let's actually add a nice depth of field that's a bit closer to the camera, I suppose. So we get a nice little offset of our. Um, the blurriness of our objects, right? So let's just pick a nice point to have something in focus, All right? Something like, right, you can select <laughs> the first particle to be in, um, in in your depth of field in your focus, but that may be a little bit weird. So let's select some that are a bit more in the back, something like, something like that. And I quite like the blurriness, right? We can see it's, it's dust, but we can also see some blurriness in the, in, the, in the view there. And we can even decrease this view stop to really make this more blurry and stuff like that. All right, so you can see that this is actually, um, even though we have a low geometry, we can see it a little bit there. But once this is moving, you won't be really be able to tell. Um, but you can see this is very, very easy to set up a nice looking like particle system or an um, overlay effect in your scenes that stuff is just floating around wherever you want them to be having um, a little bit of a noise effect a wind effect a vortex effect everything included in our scene right so if i move my camera i think the vortex is located more here right so if i play it now we can actually get some weird movements some vortex movements which is looking honestly quite fabulous right then, when you are ready with your system, just for your information, I set my number to 30,000 of my particles and I gave my dust particle and strand a little material um, with zero roughness and one transmission, right? That way they just look a little bit more um, fun to look at, I guess.
Um, when you're done to render, you do need to select your particle system and you will have to bake it. Like go to cache and bake your particle settings or your system. Otherwise, when you render a certain frame, your particles will probably not appear there um, right away. So now if you go to render an image, um, you'll actually be able to see that particle system, right? So that was the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave me a like, a comment and subscribe. And um, we're going to be diving more into particle systems, the hair systems, um, geometry node particle systems perhaps as well. Um, so if you want to see more of that, please do let us know. And remember to like, comment, subscribe. Right. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.